All right, guys, so we have a lot of great news to talk about today. I apologize if I'm low on energy or my eyes are red. I spent the whole day crying because I lost one of my game picks today. If you guys do not know, I rescued them. Uh, two brothers around a year ago, and he just passed away. He's three and a half years old, and it really has destroyed me today. Nonetheless, though, that's not what this video is about, and I'm sorry for starting this video off with some negative you know, news because we have some fantastic news. First off, we bought back Trent and Irwin on a one-year contract. So now we have a slot receiver. If we don't want to use Chuck Sizzle, we have our slot receiver back. Number two, we bought back Tanner Hudson. So that means now we have three tight ends on the roster. We have, obviously, our starter, which is going to be Mike. We have our backup tight end, which is going to be Drew Sample. And we have our third-string tight end, Tanner Hudson. And again... Receiving-wise, we have all of our receivers from last year except for Tyler Boyd. And even then, I mean, Tyler Boyd right now, there's talks of him either going to the um, Steelers or talks of him going to the Patriots or the Chiefs. He better not go to the Chiefs. I swear on everything, that man better not go to the Kansas City Chiefs. Nonetheless, though, our team is back together, okay? Only one we actually really had to sign left. I mean, there isn't really anyone too crazy that we have to sign left because right now max we're bringing back on a no nothing contract we'll bring back josh on a no nothing contract um mitchell wilcox he won't come back at all um marcus bailey he'll come back we already signed trivion williams back joe batchy we'll probably sign him back on a no nothing contract yeah so all these options right there our free agency when it comes to bringing back our players we did a pretty damn good job now let's talk about DJ Reader, because, listen, okay, as the article says, and this is multiple reports are suggesting this, not just this one article, but they're saying that we pushed hard to, to attain DJ Reader before he signed with the Lions. According to sources, the Bengals really tried. They tried everything they could to try to keep him, kind of like what we did with Von Bell Last year, when he hit free agency, we tried everything to keep him. He ended up going to Carolina. Samaj P. Ryan, we tried everything to keep him. He ended up going to Denver. Obviously, Jesse Bates, we just couldn't, realistically speaking, spend the money that he wanted. But for DJ Reader, we tried to keep him. We tried to. And again, at the end of the day, you know, he didn't get a ridiculous contract with the Lions. But I think what really it came down to was the fact that we were trying to get him on a very team-friendly contract that was going to keep us safe in case he couldn't play or he was out for a certain amount of time. And what we probably did, and I'm, not, I'm just speculating here, my guess is we probably put him on an incentive-based contract. So we probably said, hey, listen, DJ, we're signing you, but we want to sign you to an incentive-based contract depending on how many games you play, how much tackles you get, and how much, you know, everything is broken down like that. And the thing is, if you look at the contract he got with the Lions, that's not how the contract works. The contract with the Lions is just a simple 13 point whatever million per year, 13 guaranteed. So... It, it probably is something like that. We probably tried to kind of do an insurance policy in his contract, and he was like, no. <laughs> and reality-wise, it's, you know, his choice to say no to that. Now, here's the thing, right? And I don't think this is going to happen, right? Potentially. There's always a potential, right? Now, I'm just going to put it out there, potentially, okay, that the Lions, after this year, if he, let's say he doesn't play to week eight or week nine, and after the next seven games, he just isn't really meeting up to their expectations on what they want, they could cut him after this next year. And then he would hit free agency. And we could sign him. And they would pay his contract for us. And can you imagine the I ironic ironic nature of that that just like von bell we went ahead and said we tried to get someone we didn't get him and guess what we're gonna get a compensatory pick for losing him so actually scratch that no we won't uh 
No, no, no. We, we're not going to get a compensatory pick for losing DJ Reader. We got one for Von Bell. We won't get one for DJ Reader because uh, we shall, we signed Sheldon Rankins. And I'm pretty sure, according to the charts, Sheldon Rankins is equal value as a free agent as DJ Reader was. So it's like equal in the context of what we lost to what we get. So I don't think we can actually get some, or you can actually get a pick for DJ Reader. But we could also, again, sign him back next year. And then, bam, now we have DJ Reader back. And the Lions are paying for his contract. And we're not paying for his contract. Again, like I said, always options, always optional things we can do. Um, do they have DJ Reader on the Lions yet? Oh, they don't. That means his contract's not available yet. I really want to see his contract. Once his contract's out, I got to make a video about it. Because I got to see what his, um, I got to see what his opt-out bonus is. A lot of these contracts have an opt-out clause where the team can opt out of. And that's, the Von, that's what happened to Von Bell and Hayden Hurst, where there's an opt-out option. And then, bam, team swoops in, signs them. You got to pay the guy now. So, I kind of want to see if there is one in his contract. If there is, I'm telling you right now. Gotta sign him next year. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.